Good morning, everybody. We are starting another money challenge today. You see this right here? This is a $10 bill, and we are going to try to survive for a week in Lebanon on just this. Not because I want to, but because when I came to Lebanon, I only brought so much cash, and this is all that I have left. I fly out on the 22nd, it's the 16th now, so we need to survive for six days on just this. But it's actually gonna be a little bit more complicated than that because I still need to get an Uber to the airport on my last day here, which means we don't actually have $10 to spend, we only have like $6. We need to survive on less than a dollar a day for the next six days. I'm gonna keep a counter up here showing how much money we have left, but once this hits zero, we stop eating. The first thing we need to do is we need to convert this to the local currency, and we need to find the best exchange rate we possibly can to make this go as far as possible. I just looked up the exchange rate right now so that we can get the best deal. It looks like we can exchange $1 for 23,000 Lebanese Lira. That means we multiply that by 10, we should be walking out of here with 230,000 Lira. That's what we're going for, 230,000. One advantage that we do have is I've already paid for the apartment. That's where all of the money went to. So the only thing we need to focus on is food. We need to get that $10 to last for food, because our accommodation's already set up. Now we just need to find a place that'll exchange money at the current rate, rather than going to like a street vendor and getting like a discount. I miss my car. Just seeing this makes me miss America, honestly. I've had good luck with Western Unions exchanging my money in the past, so we're gonna go here and see if they give us a good exchange rate. I guess not. Um, okay, so I guess I could go up to like one of the locals and see if they'll exchange it, but I don't think they'll give me as good as a rate as an actual financial institution. Let's try this Western Union. They literally are on basically every single street corner. Um, there's nobody here. I was instructed to come to this guy over here. Sure, sure. They ended up going 10,000 under what the website says the rate is, but I think I'm okay with this. Now we've just got to live on this for the next six days. We do have a couple advantages though. As I've already mentioned, I've already paid for the apartment, so we don't need to worry about housing. And I do have some groceries left from when I went grocery shopping the other day, so we have some food left. But aside from that, this is all of the money we have left. But while I'm already out and about, let's go get some groceries. Particularly dehydrated foods. One of the first things we're going to pick up is tea. I know that might sound weird, but I know that I'm going to be needing to drink a lot of water rather than Pepsi, and so this will make that a little bit more palatable. We will also be getting more cereal because this is a good deal for the amount of calories it's got. And lastly, we're going to get more ramen noodles. We're not trying to spend all of the money on groceries right now because I'm not sure if this is the right strategy. So we're gonna spend like a quarter of it and then see how long this lasts us. This whole thing of groceries costs $3 almost exactly. So we've got $3 less up here. But remember, we also need to save like $4 for the Uber. So that means that we have like $3 left. I'm not gonna count the Uber yet, but remember that. One of the things you'll notice is that this is basically all carbs. It's noodles and flour and cereal. So I still need to find a way to get nutrients. I don't know how we're gonna do that yet, but I'm sure we'll figure something out. Now let's go make some tea. I'm honestly not sure if the water here is even safe to drink, but I'm gonna boil it first and hope that that fixes any problems. So, I'm sorry, stomach. Honestly, this whole thing would be significantly more difficult if I didn't have this kettle, which I knew could make me hot water. Oh, I don't have electricity right now. Never mind. We wait for that. Let's go eat some cereal. I'm honestly not sure if the milk is good. It's been sitting in my fridge, but like I said, we don't have electricity, so it still feels cold. Luckily, the fridge is thermally sealed, so it's able to keep the cold in, or I guess the heat out pretty well. Hope I really hope this milk is still good. Honestly, here goes nothing. Hope it's not chunky. Please don't be, oh, it's not chunky. That's good. So that's, that's a good sign that it's probably okay, maybe. And now I'm gonna stick this back in the fridge, even though I don't have electricity, because I want it to stay cold as long as possible. Yeah. Not my truth. Oh, good. Perfectly fine. Mm. Don't even give a shit, whatever, it's fine. We still don't have electricity, so I can't make tea, which means I can't drink anything right now. But eventually, I am looking forward to the hot water thing turning on so we can do laundry, so we can take a shower. Basically, anything that requires heat in this apartment right now is dead because we don't have electricity.
Hey, look at that, we have electricity. Now to turn this on, you just flip the switch. And I think that it's got some like smart magic in there to make sure that once it starts boiling, it'll turn itself off and it just won't boil the whole thing away. I think that's how kettles work. Look at how fast that is. Look at how fast that gets water boiling. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's not completely boiling right now. It's just like the it's sizzling on the bottom. Let me open this. I'm not sure if it's safe to do that. There we go. Look at that. That took about, I don't know, 90 seconds. I'm going to let it boil here for a sec because I'm not sure like how long it takes to kill bacteria and shit. So just like die. But then we will turn this to tea. Oh shit, I just closed the lid and it turned itself off. Uh, oh, so hot, so hot. That steam is hot. Oh, that steam is hot. Okay, so we're going to turn it on. Oh, it's not even turning itself on anymore. Yeah, so it's got some kind of stuff in there to make it to where you can't just like overboil your water. That's kind of cool. The apartment that I rented did provide me with this coffee mug, so let's turn this into tea. Where'd the tea go? Yes. So hard to do with one hand. Come on. I hope I didn't bust any bags with that. Loose tea bags would not be fun. I take it back, we no longer, oh wait, no, we do have energy. Okay, back to making tea. We're gonna take the coffee, or the tea bag, let go. Gonna put the tea, ah, no, get the fuck out of there. Get the fuck out of there. It's so fucking hard to do with one hand. Okay, now we're going to get out of there. Hot water. And I know that this is probably more concentrated than it should be. Yeah, I should be putting this in like a pitcher or something, but that just means more caffeine for me, so I'm good. Honestly, I'm super fond of tea. I should have washed this cup before I use it. Oh my God. Oh, um, oh my God, I'll take it back. This is so strong. It's like drinking, I don't know, dirt. Oh, so strong. So I take all of that back. I do not like this tea. I will not be drinking it. So instead, I'm gonna go ahead to like a store and get some like big bottled water and then keep it in my fridge. That way I can have cold water at least. To the store. Most of the roads here don't actually have sidewalks or if they do, they've got like cars just sitting on the sidewalks. So most of the walking actually just takes place in the middle of the road like this. And you just try to avoid the scooters and the cars that are driving by. I could get one of these, but I feel like they would probably be cheaper in a supermarket in a place where they're not already in a fridge. Like I feel like just the fact that they're refrigerated means that they'll be a higher price. I think this is what we want. On second thought, I don't think this will fit in my fridge. This seems like a good idea though. I feel like that could work. Let's go ahead and get it. This was a dollar and five cents. A dollar and five cents for this right here. I think I'm gonna call it a night. Um, tomorrow I wanna do laundry in my kitchen sink. I wanna cut my hair, shave my beard. And tomorrow we're gonna try not spending any money. This is gonna be my first day spending zero dollars. Our daily average right now at the end of the first day is four dollars and four cents per day which is four times higher than we need it to be. We need it to be less than a dollar a day. So that means that even if we can go all day tomorrow without spending any money at all, we are still twice over where we need to be. So I need to go the next three days without spending money in order for all of this to still be on par with where we need it to be. I need to go three days without spending money. If you happen to be watching this video in the future after it's posted, um, you can find out what happens tomorrow by clicking this card right here.